This segment is sponsored by Our Home Magazine. Our next guests are the proud owners of Nest Antiques Art and Gifts. They are collectors by trade and their garden reflects their interests. These talented Richmonders are featured in the recent issue of Our Home Magazine. Today we're going to talk about how you can personalize your very own garden. We welcome Mark Robertson and Marcelo Octero. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Bill. Let's talk about this garden because it is spectacular. And I'm going to start in the center with the koi pond and the fountain, and then we'll work our way out. Tell us about the fountain and the uh, koi and what's going on there. Well, first you should realize 14 years ago when we bought the property, it was a gravel parking lot. Wow. We've, we've completely uh, transformed it. Uh, Koi Pond was something we really, really wanted to do. Obviously, it was a lot of work. We did it, dug it by hand. It's seven feet by 21 feet long. And it's, of course, become the centerpiece and, and the joy of our life. So you take a parking lot well, and literally um, you kind of turn it into a little paradise back there that uh, obviously, okay. yeah. how many hours of work do you think you put in on this? Years, years, not hours, <laughs> not hours years. <laughs> Luckily, I can crack the whip, so I got him going quickly. <laughs> years, not hours. All right, so you've got the, you took a parking lot, you turned, transformed this, and did this kind of happen? Play on words organically, or did you have a plan, or did you just start and put one thing in and do <laughs> out from there? <laughs> Well, we had a plan on paper. We, Mark's really good at drawing, so he drew it all out, plants and all this stuff. We went to the nursery, and of course, it was like he was going one way, I was going the other. And by the time we finished, we had nothing we had on the list and hundreds of things that we thought we might use, and we did use, but it never comes out the way you want it, in our case, anyway. Kind of had, so had to improvise, you know, like a jazz oh, yeah, uh, musician was, was, as you went along. Funny. Yeah, it was funny, and it's in its years. I mean, we over the last 14 years, we have probably planted over 10,000 bulbs, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's a lot of digging, especially when you have gravel underneath. We've had it dug out, but you know, it's not all gone. Um, of course, you can't get rid of 60 plus years of parking lot. Yeah. Um, so, so it was tough, but it, it's 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 organic, and um, and again, you gotta follow your instincts and what you love. It's good to put it on paper, but it's good to go and see new things and uh, new ideas and, you know, just go from there. So, Mark, do we know how long it had been a gravel parking lot? Because, uh, like Marcella was saying, uh, you know, I had a gravel parking lot that I put a, a strip of a riope at the end, and I had to dig and dig and dig because the gravel went way down. Do you know how long it was uh, there? Uh, probably 70 years. The house we bought actually was the parsonage for the church next door. Wow. So that's literally amazing. the entire backyard was gravel. There was not a tree or a bush anywhere. It was all parking lot for well, the there was one life. parsonage and the church. <laughs> so the, so the antique fountain, I want to get back to that for a minute. The, the that, was that something you found in the course of uh, working at Nest or was it something you just kind of found on your own? That was through Nest. We, I mean, we're always out searching for items for the store. And we had been looking for a fountain for that for quite some time. And when we found it, we knew that was the one. I want to we skip back. It. I want to skip back to the years of work that you guys put in there. And um, folks watching at home are seeing this paradise you, you converted. Um, this is a, a kind of labor of love, obviously. But and any of us who've ever gardened know that you take a little bit at a time and then you, it just kind of gets away and you, and you run with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I can't, do, I can't do one. You know, if you go buy one bag of 10 tulips, why 100 bags is a lot better, isn't it? So, you know, that's just how I am. Um, I, you know, we just had our first wedding uh, at our garden two days ago. Somebody reached out and they're... Their venue had been canceled and they asked us if they could please have it at their wedding and, and at their, our garden and we agreed for 10 people. And she said, the comment was, you guys were over the top from day one. You know, she didn't ask for anything <laughs> other than the garden and we put over a hundred candles around the pond and, and the porch. And I, did, I used to be a florist, so I did all flowers from the garden. 
with a little help from Trader Joe's. And it, it was just, she, she summed it up. We're a little over the top sometimes, but in a good way, I hope. And I love sharing the garden. That's that's my, the main thing for the garden is to be shared. I love sharing plants, you know, things that we grow, cuttings, um, and you know, and we've gotten people that have dropped things off in our garden, and so, even without letting us know who it is. They leave a bag of plants in an in our alley, and it's just been a wonderful experience. And um, hopefully, it helps the community as well. And you know, we planted in the garden. Mark had bees at one time, and in the alley, we planted trees and all that for the neighbors just to enjoy and wow. to help the bees. So, well, I'm sorry, keep I'm going up on the good work <laughs> and, and, and expanding your garden into a wedding venue. Thank you both very much. It was fun talking to you. I noticed that Mark was just nodding in agreement you, as you were saying that it grew and grew and grew. <laughs> Thank you both. Great meeting you guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. All right. Nest Antiques Art and Gifts is located at 3404 Sims Avenue in Richmond. You can give them a call at 804-233-0134. Find Our Home Magazine on newsstands today or subscribe at richmondmagazine.com slash home. You'll find them on Facebook at Our Home Magazine and on Instagram at Our Home Mag. Virginia This Morning returns right after this.